or principle of stationary action is a variational principle. Principle of least action or principle of stationary action is a variational principle. So here in this topic, if you consider a mechanical system, if you want to derive the equations of motion, we have to apply variation or stationary action. That means when applied to the action of a mechanical system, it can be used to obtain equations of motion for the system. Now, according to the principle of least action for a conservative system, delta integration T1 to T2 sigma k pk qk dot dt equals to 0. This is equation number 1. So, the integral, it is usually called as action or action integral. The integral in Hamilton's, it is referred as action or Mappetier's principle of least action. So, where the quantity we have omega equals to integration T1 to T2 sigma k pk qk dot dt. This is sometimes called abbreviated action. Sometimes this is called as abbreviated action. Now, let us see the proof. Let us consider Hamilton's principal function or action integral, which is given as S equals to integration T1 to T2 L into DT. Let it be wish number 2. The delta variation of Hamilton's principal function S is given as delta S equals to delta integration T1 to T2 L into DT. Let it be X equation number X. So here we have delta equals to delta plus delta T D by dt already this is the existing equation delta is called delta is given as delta equals to delta plus delta t d by dt and let us substitute this one delta in equation number here x so delta s equals to so here delta we are replacing with this one so as delta plus delta t d by dt we are replacing this one with this one. So delta plus delta t d by dt into integration t1 to t2 l into dt. So we are replacing this one in equation number x here. So delta s equals to. So uh, let us multiply uh, integration t1 to t2 l dt with these two terms. So delta integration t1 to t2 l dt plus integration t1 to t2 multiply with this term delta t into d by dt into l into dt. So we are multiplying this one with these two terms. Delta s equals to delta integration t1 to t2 l dt. So here we have dt dt get cancelled. So l into delta t. Here we have l into delta t and here derivative derivation and integration get cancelled. So we are uh, writing the limits T1 to T2. So here dt dt get cancelled. So L into delta T derivation and integration get cancelled. So we are writing the limits T1 to T2. So delta S equals to integration T1 to T2 delta L into dt plus L delta T T1 to T2. So here if you see delta L, it is the independent variable. Delta L is the independent variable. So we are multiplying and dividing this independent variable with delta QK and delta QK dot. So we are writing delta S equals to integration T1 to T2 sigma K. So do L by multiplying dividing with delta QK. So delta QK delta QK plus do L by do QK dot into delta qk dot into dt plus this is the term as it is as it is we are writing here l delta t limits t1 to t2 let it be equation number three so here in the present case delta qk not equals to zero at the end points that means at the extremum points delta qk not equals to zero so hence uh, here delta integration t1 to t2 l dt not equals to zero because Delta QK not equals to 0 means integration T1 to T2 delta into LDT not equals to 0. Now, according to the Lagrange's equation, already we have this one existing equation T by DT dou L by dou QK dot minus dou L by dou QK equals to 0. Or uh, if we send this one to uh, that side, so we will obtain dou L by dou QK equals to D by DT dou L by dou QK dot. So, which is equation number 4. And uh, we have delta qk dot. We can write 
so qk dot means their way to so d by dt delta qk so uh, let us uh, substitute this one equation number 4 and equation number 5 in equation number 3 so this is equation number 3 so just we are uh, dl by dou qk we are replacing with d by dt dl by dou qk dot and delta qk uh, delta qk dot we are replacing with this one d by dt delta qk now let us substitute equation number 4 and 5 in equation number 3 so dl by dou qk delta qk plus dl by dou qk dot delta qk dot equals to uh, d by dt we are replacing this one so d by dt dl by dou qk dot into delta qk plus dl by dou qk dot d by dt delta qk here this one we have we have replaced equation number 4 and 5 in equation number 3 so this here uh, if we replace this one so if we observe this one it is in the form of derivative to uv so u derivative v plus v derivative to u so let us rewrite this one uh, with derivative of uv so dl by dou qk delta qk plus dl by dou qk dot delta qk dot equals to so we are replacing this one with derivative of uv so d by dt dl by dou qk dot into delta qk so dl by dou qk delta qk plus dl by dou qk dot delta qk dot equals to d by dt again dl by dou qk dot is nothing but pk we are replacing rewriting this one with pk into delta qk as it is and already we have delta equals to delta plus delta t into d by dt so by considering this equation uh, we will multiply with qk on both the sides multiply qk on both sides so delta qk equals to delta qk plus delta t into d by dt into qk again here d by dt into qk can be written as q dot k so delta qk equals to delta qk minus delta t into qk dot so we are send we are uh, getting delta qk so uh, we are sending this one to that side so that we will obtain here negative sign so delta qk minus delta t into this one we are rewriting as qk dot now multiply with pk on both the sides for this equation so pk delta qk equals to we are multiplying with pk so pk into delta qk minus pk into delta t into qk dot so this is equation number 7 so let us substitute so here if you uh, substitute this equation number 7 in equation number 6 so already we have pk into delta qk so uh, equation 7 we have pk into delta qk so we are replacing uh, here pk delta qk with equation number 7 so let us consider equation number 6 so delta qk by dou qk so do l by do qk into delta qk plus do l by do qk dot delta qk equals to d by dt in terms of pk delta qk we are rewriting with pk delta qk minus d by dt so here we have d by dt so we are multiplying with d by dt for these two terms so d by dt into pk delta qk minus d by dt into pk qk dot into delta t let it be equation number 8 so equation number 3 becomes so already in uh, this is equation number 3 so here uh, equation number 3 here delta l do l by do qk delta qk plus do l by do qk dot delta qk so this is one so we can replace uh, uh, this term with equation number 8 so let us substitute 8 in equation number 3 so we will obtain delta s equals to delta integration t1 to t2 l dt equals to integration t1 to t2 so we are rewriting here d by dt pk delta qk minus d by dt pk qk dot delta t plus into dt plus l delta t t1 to t2 so here let us take common uh, in denominator dt and uh, we will cancel dt in numerator and denominator so the, if we cancel dt for this term so we will obtain sigma k integration t1 to t2 dpk delta qk minus d into pk qk dot delta t plus l delta t in, uh, limits t1 to t2 and here if you see sigma k pk and here if you observe here 
integration and derivative to get cancel so we have pk delta qk limits t1 to t2 minus sigma k here uh, integration common here we have so pk qk dot delta t limits t1 to t2 plus l into delta t t1 to t2 so here integration and derivative to get cancel so we will obtain this one so here uh, as delta qk equals to 0 at the extremum point so what will happen pk delta qk becomes 0 so uh, if delta qk is 0 at, at the end points so this term becomes 0 so here in this term we have we can take common as delta t and rewriting this equation we will obtain delta integration t1 to t2 l d t equals to so here by taking delta t common for both from the both the terms so l minus pk qk dot limits t1 to t2 so uh, we have h equals to sigma k pk qk dot minus l but if you see this one it looks like minus h so we are writing this one with minus h so minus h delta t limits t1 to t2 so delta integration t1 to t2 l dt equals to minus h delta t t1 to t2 that is the equation number 10. so uh, if uh, dou h by dou t equals to 0 and uh, to the variations for which uh, hamilton h remains constant for the conservative system then let us consider delta t1 to t2 h d t equals to let us consider let us consider this one delta t1 to t2 h d t so uh, here uh, we can write we are sending this delta into inside so integration t1 to t2 h d delta t that means here if dou h by dou t equals to 0 for the conservative system uh, if h remains constant so we can we are writing delta integration t1 to t2 h dt can be written as we are sending delta into inside so integration t1 to t2 h t into delta t so uh, let us uh, see delta integration t1 to t2 h dt equals to h delta t uh, we just see here delta integration t1 to t2 h dt so we can write h delta t t1 to t2 Th that means here integration derivative to get cancelled here so if we write like this if h remains uh, constant so dou h by dou t equals to 0 for the conservative system if h remains constant if you write like this so here integration and the derivative to get cancelled so here h delta t limits t1 to t2 so let us substitute this one let us substitute here in this place so uh, see here let us uh, substitute this level in equation number 10 so delta integration t1 to t2 l d t equals to we are replacing see here in equation number here we have h delta t t1 to t2 so we are rewriting the, uh, here we are replacing this one with this term so here ld in delta integration t1 to t2 ld t equals to minus we have delta integration t1 to t2 h into dt so delta t1 to t2 uh, we are bringing this one to uh, lhs so h plus l taking common as dt equals to zero so delta integration t1 to t2 h plus l dt equals to 0. So, delta t1 to t2 sigma k. So, uh, already h equals to sigma k p k q k dot minus l. Okay. So, here h equals to p k q k dot minus l. Here we have plus l. So, l, l get cancelled. So that means here, uh, here uh, in the place of h, we are replacing with this term. So, l, l get cancelled. So here delta t1 to t2 sigma k p k q k dot dt which is equals to 0. So here also equals to 0 is there. I didn't, uh, I forgotten to write here equals to 0. So delta integration t1 to t2 sigma k p k q k dot dt equals to 0. That would be equation number 12. So this is the principle of least action. So this quantity integration t1 to t2 sigma k p k q k dot dt equals to omega which is nothing but Hamilton's characteristic function.
if it is equals to omega so uh, this is called hamilton's characteristic function so principle of least action can be stated as delta omega equals to that means we are multiplying uh, both sides with delta delta omega equals to delta integration t1 to t2 sigma k pk qk dot dt equals to zero so this is the principle of least action thank you children